you, you can just see the racism and the hatred. There's a big divide. You have to close that divide and start building bridges. And you've got to work together to do that. You don't want bitterness and hatred to spill over and keep continuing here. Like we just finished 150 years. We're supposed to be building the next 150 years full of, full of hope and inspiration. But with the decision up in Battleford, it just gets disheartening. But there's a challenge that we've got to rise to that challenge now. And we've got to fix this now. The young people in Colton Bushy wasn't on trial. Gerald Stanley was on trial. A young person's life was taken, shot in the back of the head. That's what people should focus on. And uh, that's the most important thing to focus on, when a life is taken. Um, and I made earlier on comments about when lives are viewed as less than other people's lives, and when lives are viewed as less than even property or possessions, that's when society breaks down. We don't want our society to continue to break down. It has to be rebuilt based on trust and respect and caring. Some of our laws, some creator's law, and that has to be done. So the people on social media, there has a whole education awareness piece that has to happen. Again, the stress, there's got to be an anti-racism strategy in every province and territory across Canada, because that's part of it. Again, it was a court of laws. It wasn't a court of justice. And that's where things need to be changed. Things need to be fixed in that area. And uh, there needs to be a complete overhaul of the system. It, was a, it wasn't a, a, a justice system. It was a court of a legal process. It wasn't a justice process. People aren't, that make those statements aren't understanding that a life was taken. A life was taken. A person died. Again, when a person's life is viewed as less than property, something is wrong with society.